What's fascinating and definitive is that you see that the English language that we're speaking today is laid out perfectly, mathematically, but backwards. Now you begin to see that there are sacred languages. The sacred languages were Hebrew, ancient Aramaic, Sanskrit, and Babylonian. To show you how this truth is infiltrated into our cult culture by design, not mistake. And that the global industrials who, are, who have done that are still using it. And we see it, but we don't see it. We see it all the time, but we don't know it. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Renee, and this is Highly Motivated. Today, we are getting into a video that I found that is about gematria and the idea that the English language was actually created to be a cursed language and how the gematria can point to that fact. Before we get started, I wanted to give a quick thank you to my subscriber Brent Oliver for his thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Yeah, look. The ancient Jews used Hebrew as their numerical system. Eh? Each letter is a number. Like the Hebrew A, Aleph, it's one. B, Bet, it's two. You understand? But look at this. The numbers are interrelated. Like, take the Hebrew word for father. Av, Aleph, Bet. One, two, equals three. All right? Hebrew word for mother, Aim, Aleph, Mem. One, forty, equals forty-one. Sum of three and forty-one, forty-four. All right? Now, Hebrew word for child. All right? Mother, father, child. Yelled. That's ten, thirty, and four. 44. Wow. Torah is just a long string of numbers. Some say that it's a code sent to us from God. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's just kid stuff. Check this out, okay? The word for the Garden of Eden, Kedem. Numerical translation, 144. Now, the value of tree of knowledge, all right, in the garden, right? Eitz Achayim. 233. 144, 233. And you can those take Fibonacci those numbers. numbers. So, nope. You know, like the Fibonacci sequence? Fibonacci. Fibonacci is um, an Italian mathematician in the 13th century. If you divide 144 into 233, the result approaches um, theta. Theta? Theta. The Greek symbol for golden ratio, golden spiral. Wow. I never saw that before. That's like that series you find in nature? Like the face of a sunflower? Where are the spirals? You see this math everywhere. In ancient mystery school Pythagorean mathematics, there's only nine numbers in the universe. Nine numbers. Ten is actually one plus zero, that's one. Zeros are placeholders. That's a man-made creation. Creator's language is math. There's only nine numbers in the universe. One through nine. The numbers have a resonance, a frequency, a deep sacred geometry. There's the triangle. Tree. And that this three sixes and nines is special, are very special. Who said that? How about last century's greatest genius? Not Einstein, Nikola Tesla. Tesla taught his students John Keeley and Royal Raymond Reif and others. If humanity only knew the powers of the three sixes and nines, it would be a completely different universe. Um, quick question. How many of you guys think that Nikola Tesla was a real person um, and not just a character that they attributed a bunch of things to? Um, I I'm interested to know what you guys think. Not just world, universe, said Tesla. The alphanumerics, alphabet numbers, and alphanumerics of the English language, one through... 26, but we talked about earlier, there's only nine numbers, so you've got to use the Pythagorean mystery school math method of reducing the double digits into the single digit integers. So, 
You take 1 through 9, 10 is 1 plus 0, that's 1. 11 is 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 through 9, 1 through 9, 1 through 8. And then he took the words faith, trust, and God. Oh, wow, isn't that interesting? He noted they're all 8s, the infinity sign, God's number. Hey. 9 is completion. Now you might say, oh, well, that's nothing fancy. There's nothing, you know, it's just interesting, but it doesn't prove anything. <clears throat> Here you go. In the Bible, listen, there's people that you could give like a book this thick of proof and they don't want it. What is it? I don't believe in God, but I hate him. You can't have it both ways. Peter never adds or subtracts, always multiplies. So you take the multiples of eight. One times eight equals eight. Two times eight equals 16, where one plus six is seven. Three times eight equals 24, where two plus four is six. Three, four times eight equals 32, where three plus two is five. Suddenly, Eureka, you have a eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nine, six, five, four, three, countdown pattern. Perfect for the English language in reverse. There's a reversal here. Hmm. And we know who does things in reverse and on one-offs. Mathematical to language, alphabet. But interesting, when you then see, you take the English alphabet backwards to the English alphabet forwards, add them together, 8 plus 1 is 9, 7 plus 2 is 9, 6 plus 3 is 9, 5 plus 4 is 9, it's always 9. That means it's perfect. Math never lies. That's why it's God's language. Amen. One and one always two unless you're a cheater, right? <laughs> yeah, or you live in 2023 and you're not allowed to say what you see with your eyes. <laughs> you have to pretend. <laughs> but what's fascinating and definitive is that you see that the English language that we're speaking today is laid out perfectly, mathematically, but backwards. Now you begin to see that there are sacred languages. The sacred languages were Hebrew, ancient Aramaic, Sanskrit, and Babylonian. That when people spoke those languages, there was a resonance of basic fundamental mathematics, a musical resonance in the voices, mm. in the communications. People were singing together, not just speaking together. And that when they did that, it had this communion, interpersonal communication, communion from the hearts. And it had this uplift, spiritual, mm. this blessing, anointing coming from the Creator so that we could be in communion. That's an interesting point. So if it is backwards, could it have the opposite effect? Did they create it so that while, while we're speaking that we're unknowingly cursing ourselves? And if that is the case, that just points to another reason why grace is so important today. This whole process of pulling it down and together and being blessed with that flow of community and communication. Right. Everything's out of the flow, divine out of sync. Ultimately, the expression of divine in each of us. So this is what we realized. You read Hebrew from, from right to left. You read English from left to right. Flipped. Reversal. Now, this is absolutely certain. I showed you, for example, <clears throat> that X's are sixes. Well, now we know... Um, what is behind Elon wanting to rename Twitter? X's or sixes. So to With show you how costume. this truth is infiltrated into our culture by design, not mistake, and that the global industrials who are who have done that are still using it, and we see it, but we don't see it. We see it all the time, but we don't know it. Here are some examples. This is, I actually, in the book, Death in the Air, decoded the Illuminati's code that you see in their logos. You see them all over. I'll give you some examples. X's are sixes. So are O's. So American Idol, which my family adores. I do too. Idol worship is on Fox. F-O-X. Wow. 666. Six, six. But that's not where it ends. It's infiltrated completely into our culture. You sign your letters to loved ones, X's and O's at the bottom, kisses and hugs. You're writing six, 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 six. Oh, they think they're when funny, you play huh? Tic -tac -toe, board X's and O's. At the end of the game, you got six, 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 six. Nine sixes. Six times nine is 54. Five plus four is nine, that's completion. End of the game. Rockefeller, Rothschild, cartel. That they, that they deceive the wealthiest men of all the nations and practice sorcery. The root word of sorcery is pharmacopoeia. Pharmaceuticals is the root word of sorcery. 
and they cast magic spells to do it. It says that's exactly what the hypnosis machines called a television are. Casting magic spells and doctor Tell a vision, tell I vision, programming. I mean, they tell you what the stuff is if you actually stop for a second and like think about what the words actually mean rather than just repeating them and <laughs> it's crazy. people into the cult, into the deceptions. Thank you to the Rockefeller cartel operating on behalf of the royalty of Europe and the banksters of Europe that are running Carnegie and Rockefeller institutes and foundations. The fundamental mathematics of this starts with the whole note, the whole note in music. Reflecting the whole cosmic system. Now imagine you were God for a minute. Just use your imagination. And you were all that was. Boring. You'd be bored. <laughs> I know. Moreover, think about this for a second. If you were all that was, if you expanded yourself as, let's say you were God, in all directions to infinity, in all directions, massive outward growth and beyond, beyond, until there was nothing less but you, there would be nothing else but you, that means everything, and nothing is the same. Same. It's all, in, it's all in that one symbol. That's what that symbol represents. Now, the shortest distance between two points, the creator and you, is a straight line. So you divide that, now you've got the rudimentary eight, which is the infinity sign on its side. You see 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, it's all Masonic, it's all architecture, it's all sacred geometry, it's all the buried mathematics. Now flip this up, look, you flip this wow. one up here, flip this one down here, now you got your X. That's how you came up with your X's, which are actually also alphanumerically the sixes, which I shared with you, is a symbol. Like you see how the, divide the eight and a half, you got your three. But you also have this six here, which you cut off a little piece here, you got your six, which represents the spiraling down spiraling down from heaven to manifest into earth. And nines, the, other, the opposite, completion, going back up, rejoining creator in the wholeness of heaven. That's the sacred understanding underlying our most fundamental mathematics. Wow. There is so much to unpack in that video. That is why the elite, they... they choose the name that they're going to give a character they choose birth dates they choose the dates that specific things happen they even choose the on a live dates so that they correspond with certain codes and gematrias so that that way when that way they can speak to each other without actually having to say what it is that they're saying. So if you learn how to maybe, so you can take some of the headlines and plug them into a Gematria calculator. You can see the other things that they also add up to. There are a lot of different ways to be able to read in between what is put out into the media. And you can actually find out some interesting connections that you wouldn't otherwise make if you hadn't decided to check out the numbers behind the words. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and I will be back very soon with another one. Until then, stay prayed up and stay highly motivated.